regards to our behavioral, cognitive, and emotional well-being. It can affect how we feel, think, and behave. It also helps to determine how we handle our stress and interact with others in our daily life. According to WHO, mental health is a state of well-being in which an individual relies their own abilities, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively, and is able to make a contribution to their community. In Malaysia, 7% of teenagers are found to have thought of committing suicide, and half of them have translated the thought into actions. As because of the rising number of suicides each year, committing suicide has become a troubling issue. According to the data given by National Suicide Registry Malaysia on 2010, the number of suicides has increased in the last three years with a total of 1,156 victims. The National Study States in 2012 shows that the rate of suicide among female is more than male by the ratio of 3-1. Chinese have the highest rate of suicide, 48%, followed by the Indian, 21%, Malay, 18%, and other races, 13%, according to the STAR Online 2012. It is essential to maintain your emotional and mental health because it is an essential part of your life and influences your feelings, attitudes, and emotions. Being emotionally stable can increase productivity and effectiveness in tasks such as work, education, or caregiving. Furthermore, it contributes to the well-being of your relationships and helps you to adapt to changes in your life and deal with adversity. Hey everyone! As your doctor, I want to ask you. What will you do if you notice your friend or your family member is experiencing mental health problems? Here are some tips. If you notice your friend or your family member is experiencing mental health problems, the most effective way to help them is to spend time with them and let them know that there is someone who cares about them. Offer them help to seek professional help and try to provide information about how to do this. You also can keep them active by accompanying them to do beneficial activities to reduce their stress or anxiety. But, what if you are the one experiencing mental health problems? If you are the one that is experiencing mental health problems, find someone to talk to and express your feelings. After that, try to relax and enjoy your hobby with your beloved one. Then, the most important thing to do is to accept who you are. Try to accept all your shortcomings and strive to change yourself into a better person. Factors that contributing to your mental disturbances For instance, the following factors can contribute to a period of poor mental health. First is, childhood abuse, trauma or neglect. Second is, social isolation or loneliness. Third, experiencing discrimination and stigma. Fourth, social disadvantage, poverty, or debt. Fifth, bereavement, or, losing someone close to you. The last one is, severe or long-term stress. For those suffering from mental illness, stigma and misinformation may seem like unmanageable barrier. Stigma can fade away if we are aware of their limitations and strengths. One community, we must show an individual respect and acceptance to overcome a huge obstacle to effectively dealing with their condition. For someone who is struggling with their mental health, seeing people view you as a person rather than your illness will make all the difference. It is important to raise awareness Encourage those around you who are struggling with a mental health crisis and get treatment if you believe you are suffering from some kind of mental disorder or mental health issue.
started like a criminal undercover. Don't pop like trouble breaking into your heart like that. <laughs> cool shade, stunner, yeah, on with her to my mother. High like summer, yeah, making you sweat like that. Break it down. Ooh, when I look in the mirror, I'm not too hard to do. I got the superstar glow, so Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.